So I launched this online course and I felt like everyone was going to like just be dying to buy it because of all of the things I had been reading on the internet. It was a course on teaching people how to, you know, um, do self photography, how to understand Instagram, how to use Instagram. And it was called self portraits that sell. Had a really good turnout to the webinar and nobody bought it. So I was like, I am done with this. I am not doing it ever again. And I had said that before and logged off for two hours and then logged back on. But this time I stayed off for like a week. And then I told myself like, girl, what else are you gonna do? <laughs> like this is, this is what you're supposed to do. Let's go again. That's what you're supposed to do as a business owner, right? If a huge business does a launch, they don't necessarily throw it out the window. They probably come from a different angle. Sometimes it's, it's just your marketing, it's just your sales. For me as a creator, what I should have done was took my audience through the journey of creating this thing. As creators, we wanna hide away and do the thing and then say, kabam, <laughs> this is what I've done. I wasn't nurturing my audience for that sale. I just sold to them, right? Cause it's what I had seen other people doing. So I launched again and I sold two spots after that. I turned it off of me. It's not about me. I know how to do this already. It was about the people, right? So I started focusing on my people, the people that I was creating for. And I started thinking about like, I mean, why would they want this? What's the benefit for them? And just started thinking differently. So just shifting my me into we. And so just switching into service mode as a creator was definitely helpful for selling. And then as I went on, like numbers increased. So I kept doing it over and over. I started testing and trying. I started realizing that I don't have to be perfect and have this all figured out. I have the freedom to take people on this journey with me. And that's what really shifted things for me. So for someone who is like, you know, just out of it, you've tried everything, you feel like it's not working, um, try again. There's something that you're not doing. So that's where I would say you gotta reevaluate. You gotta go back and see what, what can I do differently? A lot of us are comparing our uh, failures to the biggest wins on the internet. So you might say, so-and-so told me I need to launch a course and I launched it and I made zero dollars, right? Go back and evaluate like what you've been doing to see if there's anything that you could improve. It takes honesty. You gotta say, did I really give a hundred percent to this thing? And a lot of times, You'll hear that answer inside of you and it's gonna say, well, no, you didn't. <laughs> or you could have you could have been more prepared or this could have been done differently. So I think that the answer is inside of you and the answer for your faith is also inside of you. That mustard seed is inside of you as well. Like you know that it now is not the time to give up. You genuinely know that. So you don't need me to tell you that you need to continue on. <laughs> you know you do.